Larissa Pacheco, and Taylor Guardado in the tournament semifinals of the women's lightweight division. Um, Larissa Pacheco, much, much better wrestling and much, much better grappling. She's going to be the same height and the same reach right there, a lot younger, but um, either way, Larissa Pacheco is going to be a way better wrestler and grappler. She is a BJJ brown belt or a blue belt, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I think it's a blue belt. Let's see right here. Um, she's currently a blue belt in jiu-jitsu and the jungle fight bantamweight champion before signing with the UFC. She fought Jessica Andrade, Jermaine Randomy, all of these girls inside the UFC. Um, only real, I mean, she beat Irene Aldana right there as well by third round of ground upon TKO. She beat Carol Rosa by guillotine. I mean, her submission game and her striking game is really, really good. We, we used to know her as usually that girl that's trying to get the fight down um, and look for the submission, look for the ground upon that type of stuff, but her striking has gotten a lot, a lot better. The last fight with Helena Kolesik, she looked absolutely amazing. First round knockout winning 4 minutes, 48 seconds. She looked really, really good, but um, Taylor Guardado definitely needs this fight to stay on the feet. I don't know if she'll have the advantage on the feet, um, but I do think she definitely needs to keep the fight on the feet. So, um, for this fight, Taylor Guardado and Larissa Pacheco, I think it's really, really close on the feet, but of course, in the clinch, in the wrestling, in the grappling, everything like that, Larissa Pacheco, uh, with the BJJ blue belt, and just all around being the stronger fighter, um, the better wrestler, just being the all around better grappler, um, I, did, I think we'll probably take the fight there, if the fight is even on the feet, but um, yeah, I really don't see an opportunity for Taylor Guardardo to finish the fight. So even if Taylor is doing good on the feet, Larissa will uh, pull back on her wrestling and grappling, which she's going to have a significant advantage in. So um, seems like an easy prediction. I'm going to go Larissa Pacheco going out there, um, keeping the fight even on the feet. I don't know if she'll have the edge on the feet. It's going to be very, very even. Um, but I think she will end up using her grappling and wrestling. Overall, my prediction right there for Larissa Pacheco and Taylor Guardardo is going to be a... Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go inside the distance. I'm gonna go Larissa Pacheco by a KO TKO win or a submission win. I'm not too sure what she's gonna get the finish in because she showed a lot of power on the feet. She showed a lot of power with the ground pound and she showed a lot of submission game as well. So I don't know how she's gonna finish it, but I do have Larissa Pacheco in inside the distance right there. Um, but yeah, put your predictions in the comment section below. Larissa Pacheco and Taylor Guardardo, but I got Larissa Pacheco in that lightweight fight right there.